But do you know cooking like basic cooking? I I can cook Maggi. Yes. Maggi. <laughs> But nothing. There is no effort. There is no effort yeah. required in required in Maggi. Just uh, you know mix the ingredients mm-hmm. with water and then wait for about like two and a half minutes, three minutes. Okay. Have you tried cooking Maggi for two minutes? It doesn't cook well. No, actually. it doesn't. I tried actually. It's Hi. a. Hi, Adija. How are you? Yes, I'm doing well. How have you been? Uh, I've also been pretty well. So yeah, what happened? Like, did you have any internet connection issue while joining this session? Um, no, I actually didn't connect to the internet. So I again connected connected to the internet and joined in. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. So tell me, uh, how was your this long weekend? Oh well, mm-hmm. yes, it it was a nice weekend because we had a dance competition and we did win that competition. Wow! So, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so tell me about this dance competition. What was the theme, and which song did you dance on? And we hmm? did a mashup of a lot of songs. No, oh, um, different songs. Different song to dance, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and how's your content making going on? Your YouTube channel? Yes, it's been going on really well. I'm and I'm loving all the love and support of my subscribers and everything. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I remember we had a session a couple of months ago. I suppose, right? Yes. Okay, so how many sessions do you take in a week? One only. Only one session, like just for the content creation, or like overall, just one. Uh, one, yeah. So uh, in a month, I suppose it's around four sessions, mm-hmm. right? Right. Okay, that's why I don't see you very often in this platform, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you do post regularly, I suppose, right? Yes. I've seen a few video of yours actually on YouTube. What what was the name of your channel again? I forgot the name. Lively life. Lively life. Yes, 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 yes. I've seen it, Jan. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's do a very uh, basic activity. I'll ask you some random questions, okay? Uh, which will be completely different from each other. So let's see how well you'll answer these. These are very basic questions, of course. Okay. So my first question is uh, about dreams. Okay. So we often dream whenever we sleep. So I want you to tell me uh, one of your weirdest dream which I've ever seen in your life so far, and if you remember any part of that dream, and when you woke up, you realize, okay, thank God, uh, it was just a dream. Any? Did you have any uh, dream like that? Oh God, I have so many horrific dreams. Like mm-hmm. probably I don't have them right now, but I used to have them when I was. young and mm-hmm. i i still have them but it uh, they are not as unusual or as weird as the dreams that i used to have before it was mm-hmm. so like whatever i used to fear whatever i used to think about i used to dream about that all the time mm-hmm. like whether it is an attack from any other country whether any <laughs> volcanic eruption whether ghosts anything literally everything that i feared i used to have the dreams one time mm. i remembered that was the most horrific dream i ever had um mm. i was sitting and there were so many bunch of rats and i was mm. sitting at, in my bed means the bed that i actually sleep in and they were crawling and they were coming towards me and i couldn't move as i was sleeping so mm. i woke up from that dream and realized that there were no rats and i was still sleeping but i couldn't mm. sleep after that it was such yeah. a horrible dream maybe maybe it was in your subconscious these rats and mm. everything yeah because dreams work like that i also have some weird dreams uh, every now and then and whenever i wake up i just uh, i feel this gratitude that it was just a dream and it right. was not reality okay yeah so yeah so like lucid there are some lucid dreams also which you can easily remember but there are lots of dreams which you don't remember at all like 90% of dreams are forgotten actually yeah. so do you dream often or like uh, once in a blue moon well it's not that rare but i do dream but i'd not say every day because right now i really sleep late sometimes because of all mm. the studies and i have mm. to wake up early so i just mm. have a good sound sleep okay so at what time do you wake up in the morning um around 7 7 am and at what time do you go to your school then um i go to my school around 8:30 Eight thirty, and at what time do you come back home? Um, around four. Four. Oh, it's an so it's all it's overall like ten or eleven hours in a day yeah. you have to spend for your studies and everything. So after coming back home, like at what time do you study and you know create your content and everything? How do you manage all these things? 
Oh, well, I actually make videos like except from these conversation videos, I make videos only on weekends, like on Saturday and Sunday. I plan the video probably on the fr on Friday or on mm. some other day, but I make those videos on Saturday and Sunday. And these mm. short con uh, conversation videos, I do them on the weekdays only just for 15 mm. minutes. You know, I can spare the time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because it doesn't require a lot of editing, but you have to shoot something on your own that requires editing, right? Yeah. So do you edit on your own or you have someone to edit your videos like a friend of yours, maybe? Well, my parents are very supportive, so they help me in editing and doing all the things. Oh, that's so nice of them. Okay. So you make try to make content at the weekends only, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now the next question. This is quite a hypothetical question. So if you could have dinner with a famous personality, living or dead, maybe. So which person would you go for? Any famous personality? Okay. So I would, of course, choose someone who has done something that I would like to do, probably. Mm -hmm. um, let's say um, some scientist, because I would love to know about whatever Albert Einstein, probably, because I would love to know about his brain. How does he mm. do that? And everything. Mm. Yes, I'm mm. going to choose a scientist and probably him only because I want to actually have a chat with him and know that how does he do that? Like, how mm. does he think all the time about physics and everything? Everything, yeah. But that was happening in his surrounding. He was a quite of a curious mind, actually, right? Okay, so now imagine that you are uh, with Albert Einstein having dinner in a hypothetical situation. What what all questions would you ask him? Uh, well, what is your recent, I mean, what are you working on recently? Means what mm -hmm. are you thinking about? And I'm, I'm going mm -hmm. to ask him to explain to me some things of physics because I know at least I can get the correct answers <clears throat> from him because he's mm -hmm. going to like, you know, tell me in the way that he can understand. And that is the thing I need. Um, well, yes, I would ask him all those questions that I have in my mind related to physics, of course, and whatever he is doing right now. How, uh, how does he actually think about um, discovering something, you know, the theory of relativity or anything? How does he think of these formulas and everything? Mm, absolutely. Okay. So Albert Einstein it is, right? Yeah. If you know about this E equals to MC square, uh, MC square theory, theory of relativity, yes. right? He was observing some people uh, cleaning the windows and he had a thought in his mind. Actually, I was uh, watching this video of this. So I was like, you know, what a curious mind he was. He kept thinking about how things work in the universe. He was not good at studies like overall, but he was good in uh, his thought process was in a different level, I suppose, right? Yes. Mm, okay so now uh, do you love watching movies um yes i do i don't really watch movies now or uh, right now but mm. yes i do love mm. watching so uh so far uh, what's your favorite movie which you can uh, watch over and over again oh god i cannot name one movie because there are like thousands of movies that i'd love to watch mm. again some are quite nostalgic but some have you know, left a mark in my heart that I would love to watch again. And some are pretty much quite great at probably anim animation or everything that it, mm. you know, it's uh, like you can entertain yourself for watching that. Yeah. So there are different types of movies. Um, I love everything. I probably love more entertaining movies because I watch movies to, you know, get my mm. mind off studies for a little mm -hmm. while. And mm -hmm. put it down. So I would probably mm. watch those type of movies rather than any drama movies or some, uh, you know. Just to relax yourself, like, you know, from the studies and kind of an escape from all the hustle and bustle, right? Okay. Yeah. So can you name one of the movies, like, which you really like to watch? <laughs> any? Well, any. Mm. Um, in Hollywood, I love watching Marvel movies. And, Marvel uh, movies. Yes, I love watching them. And I not say probably once marvel movies but spider-man iron man everything they are my favorites like i do love watching them just for you know entertaining myself but there are a lot of comedy movies um i don't know i used to watch some shows as well comedy shows that they were absolutely like you know funny i would not say now right now if i think about them they are quite not funny but when i was a child i used to find them funny so i still okay. remember those days like i used to sit down and watch them and laugh yeah absolutely okay so um, how's the weather in your city you live in kolkata right 
Um, I live in the north of West Bengal. Uh, Kolkata is in the south. Uh, Kolkata is oh, Kolkata is in the south. Which district you told uh, you told me a district like which district um, do you live in? It's in Dinajpur. Uttar Dinajpur. Okay, so how's the temperature these days in your area? Oh my God, it's so hot and humid all the time. It's hot I and did, humid. Okay. Yes, it does rain sometimes, just for a little bit, but then the weather is going to get more humid and more humid. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So uh, speaking of weather, uh, what's your favorite season of the year? I might choose um, autumn probably because it's not too hot, not too cold, not too cold. So yeah. Just in the middle, and I love autumn because I love that mm. fresh air. You know, mm -hmm. in the I absolutely love everything about autumn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because autumn is the best time. It's not that hot and not that cold. Also, it's quite moderate. Like you can go wherever you want, do whatever you want, all that thing. So, how are winters in your area? Like, is it too harsh or like normal winters? Um. Yes, it does get uh, too cold. Like compared mm -hmm, to Kolkata, mm -hmm. here it is too cold. Um, but okay. I'd not say like in the hilly areas. It never snows here, but mm -hmm. if you compare it to Kolkata, like it's too cold. It's too cold. Um, we have mm -hmm. to always stay in the blankets, and we don't mm -hmm. get a uh, we don't get a long summer uh, winter vacation though. Just the Christmas uh, one week. Uh, I think Christmas, we should yeah. get another week more because it's too cold <laughs> and we cannot go to school that time. But still, it is cold. It, but it doesn't mm. snow, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't snow. Yeah, definitely in West Bengal, it doesn't snow. No. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so are you a foodie or you just eat for functioning? So yeah, or yeah, like how does it work for you? Um, well, I'm not a good, very good fan of fast food or those type of items. Okay, so what is your favorite food of all time so far, apart from Bengali cuisine? Okay, I love pancakes. <laughs> I do love them all the time. Pancakes. Do you know how to prepare them as well? No, my mother can prepare them. <laughs> Okay, so but do you know cooking like basic cooking? I know how to cook tea. <laughs> tea, tea is like yeah, definitely. Yes, everyone can cook that, and I and for I I I want to learn how to cook chutney and a soup and ma soup. I can I I can cook Maggie yes. Maggie, <laughs> but nothing. There is no effort. There is no effort yeah. required in required in Maggie. Just uh, you know, mix the ingredients mm. with water and then wait for about like. Two and a half minutes, three minutes. Okay. Have you tried cooking Maggie for two minutes? It doesn't cook well. No, actually. it doesn't. I tried actually. It's a, it's a quite misleading statement by Nestle that you can cook it within two minutes. It's not uh, yeah. possible actually. <laughs> okay. So, so you, you don't have any favorite food as such, but pancakes, of course. Yeah. But pancakes is also a task to make, right? The process from the scratch, like milk, butter and all these things. It's a yeah. baking item, right? If I'm not wrong, yes. bakery kind of. Okay. Yeah. So pancakes. I've had pancakes once in my life uh, because I'm not into this bakery items. But I loved, I recently had a banana cake for the first time. I don't know, but it was amazing. Did you have banana cake yet? I'm probably, yes, I did. Mm. What about croissants? No, I didn't. No, you should try croissants, especially chocolate croissants if you're uh, a lover of chocolate. Otherwise, you can go for the plain ones also, like butter croissants. Wait, is it like this? I mean, yeah, the, the, the swirly, oh, yes, the I swirly have, one. I, I, was, I didn't know the pronunciation of that. So. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah it, I have. It, it's my it, father's favorite item. <laughs> In spelling, it looks like croissant, but it's croissant. Yeah. Croissant, yeah. Yeah, so croissant is like amazing. So you have you've had it, right, already? Yes, yes, I have. Okay, okay, but you didn't, you were not aware about the pronunciation. Hmm, right. What about brownies and other things? Choco brownies. Oh, well, I know brownies, but I haven't eaten them a lot, probably once mm -hmm. in my life. But mm -hmm. um, when it comes to croissants, whatever you say, it, I have mm -hmm. eaten them a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and what about, uh, okay, do you, are you a vegetarian or a non vegetarian? A non vegetarian. Non vegetarian also. So I think you guys also make. Uh, you in Bengal, I think it's uh, the fish curry is quite famous, right? Yes. Fish curry with rice. So mm -hmm. how often do you have it? Like every day or like once in a blue moon? Like how does it work for you? Um, probably not every day, but you know there are seven days in a week, so five days fish. Five <laughs> days fish. Oh my yes. god! Like seriously. It happens I in our you... house. I don't know oh, about okay. other houses, but it does happen in our house. Like we are going to probably one day chicken and one day something else, but. Five days fish 
I thought you would say two days actually, two or three days maximum, <laughs> no. but it's like five days, all right. So, what did you have for dinner today? Um, I didn't have my dinner yet. I will have it. Okay, after this session. So, yeah. do you know what what your mother has cooked for you today? Um, I don't know. Probably rice with some curry. Curry. It might be fish also, right? As you said, it's no, five times it a week. No, it is fish because we don't really eat fish in dinner. We eat it in lunch more. Okay, it's only in lunch actually. Hmm. Yeah. All right. What about any sweet dish uh, like chom chom? If I'm not wrong. Yes, there is chom chom. There is rasgulla. Rasgulla and mishti doi. 